Okay, I'll just finish off just a, a couple more, but um, again, these are already factored. You just have to figure out what the x's are that make this equal to zero. Now, if you can do the shortcuts, remember the, the proper way, I mean, I've tried to show you shortcuts, is put the 9x plus 1 equal to zero and do the algebra. And then also put the 5x minus 2 equal to zero and do the algebra. And that will give you the 2x terms, okay? But again, shortcuts. I just look at it and it's like doing the algebra in your head. I go change the sign, second number over first number. And that's the answer for that x. Change the sign, you don't really need the plus. That number, second over first, okay? So honestly, that would be the answer. I just go negative one ninth and positive two fifths. That would be the answer for that one, okay? Now, Honestly, just occasional trick ones is, is this 3 it puts people off, it's meaningless, it's not an x, ignore it, it's not going to count, it's still a basic one where x is 4, okay, 4 take away 4 will give you the 0, and x is 5, okay, because 5 take away 5 is 0, so those are your two answers for that one, all I'm saying is that's just, just watch it, you don't need that number there is meaningless, alright, okay, let's actually now do some factoring and solve. So this is now going back to what you've already done, learn your factoring and use it. So have a look at this. What's two numbers? Alright, okay, just that equals zero is the extra bit. Two numbers that make negative 84 when you multiply, that make positive 5 when you add. 12 and 7. X plus 12, and it's more positive, so it's positive 5x x minus 7. So if you look at that, look at what we've been doing. The two answers are going to be, I'll put these ready, uh, that will give me here, I need a negative 12, so I'll that first, and here I'd need a positive 7. So negative 12, positive 7 are your two answers, okay? Let's just try another one, this one here. Okay, again, this is x and an x and two numbers that make negative 60 when you multiply 4 when you add Ooh, what is that 6 and 10 6 and 10 okay x plus 10 because I need more positives x minus 6 is that right that'll give me that okay so the two answers are going to be negative 10 needs to go there and positive 6 will have to go here again for this one just write it above it the answer will be negative 10 and positive 6. Okay? And we'll call it quits for that one. I'll go and show you some more complicated ones now.